So I was just watching this video all about fight or flight and anxiety and it brought about a really quick thing that I wanted to share with you guys here. So if you're someone who has struggled with anxiety for a long time, who finds themselves constantly stuck in this anxious cycle, then you're gonna wanna stick around because this video is gonna help you so much and shine some major light on how to fix your anxiety, how to overcome it and heal it in a natural way. And I promise it's possible, I've done it and so have so many of my clients. So I'm gonna be breaking this down for you in this video, let's dive in. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Kara Michelle and I'm here to help you live your truth. So today we're diving into the fight or flight response and if you are still new to figuring out what that is, it's basically a programmed response that all, all human beings have and quite honestly all mammals and living beings have. It's a survival mechanism. So it's here to keep us alive. So anytime we feel a potential threat, our mind triggers the fight or flight response that has us either ready to fight off the potential threat or to run away and escape the potential threat. So when you go into fight or flight, um, majority of your systems in your body actually shut down because all of your energy is being focused on keeping you alive and keeping you in survival. So this is why when you find yourself getting really stressed out, um, you know, like you have stomach issues, you have different things going on, you're tensing, right? Like all of these different things are contracting in the body so that you're ready for either this burst of energy to fight or this burst of energy to escape. So the big problem is, is that most people spend most of their life in fight or flight because, and this is the thing. So it's conditioned as in like, it's just ingrained. It's something that we can't necessarily control. We can become aware of and shift out of though. But what I found so cool about what I was listening to today is in terms of the conditioned response, I've never thought of it this way, but we are, this is dogs, I hope you, can, you might hear them, so I apologize. Um, we are, our subconscious mind You've heard me talk about this in other videos. Our subconscious mind forms until, typically until we're about seven years old. And this becomes our patterns. This becomes our programming and that like habitual programming, okay? So what was really, really cool about this video is that it was talking about how my personal response to fight or flight was developed by the time I hit about seven years old and because of that, it would have been 100% based on the fight or flight response that I saw in my parents. So I saw them respond to their stresses in a certain way. And it makes total sense when you think about it, right? Because we all, uh, monkey see, monkey do. We, we learn from what we observe. So I saw my parents react to stresses in a certain way. And then that became my ingrained pattern in myself where oh, something's not going right, here's my immediate response and here's how I'm gonna react and here's like how it might show up different for me than for someone else in terms of anxiety or overthinking or panic attacks or um, all of these different emotions. So it's really interesting because I was actually talking with a client the other day who was struggling with some panic attacks and we look at her mom and her mom used to have horrible panic attacks all the time. So when you look at it, it's like, well, that does make sense that she would have developed this habit and this conditioned response to stress and external factors. This is also why if you have a really negative parent and they're constantly complaining, complaining, focusing on the negative, worrying and fearful about all the things that could go wrong, well, you're going to end up having an anxious kid. The kid is going to develop and, and learn this conditioning and they're going to be extremely uh, anxious. They're going to be worried about all the potential threats and they're going to be always in fear. So we learn these things as we're developing and then they create that conditioned response that shows up later in life and, and shows up consistently. So what you want to do and what I talk about all of the time is learning how to reprogram your mind so that you're not stuck in that cycle anymore because yes, part of this is human nature. So 
something goes wrong at work and you're stressed, you might go into that fight or flight mode. You know, you're driving on the highway, someone cuts you off and you kind of have to slam on the brakes. You're definitely going to go into that fight or flight because your body is immediately going into survival and producing all the necessary hormones and reactions and everything to keep you alive. So it's a good thing in times like that, but it's not a good thing in just everyday life where you're walking around on edge, worrying about all the things that could potentially go wrong, you know, like having this tension and storing this fear, literally storing fear in your body and holding it so tightly that everything just like, you know, you just get so wound up by this stuff. So we don't want to be staying in it 24 <laughs> seven, as you probably know, because if you're feeling it, then you don't want to be there. So um, I wanted to share two different tools to help with anxiety. And so one of them is my free ebook, which I will put down below in the description box. And it's seven powerful tools for anxiety. So for those who don't know, I used to suffer from crazy, crazy anxiety. I didn't realize what it was. I just thought it was normal for most of my life. But I was so extremely worried about things all the time. My mind could go really dark into like those spiraling, catastrophic thoughts. I was predominantly negative, fearful. Uh, I missed out on, on a lot of things or if I was at different things, I wasn't actually present and enjoying them because I was so caught up in my head anxious about what people might think or like about how I said the wrong thing or like just really getting spiraled into these thoughts. I had so many different health problems like stress problems, digestion, breakouts, like just so many things because I was constantly stressed and my body never had the chance to just like relax and do its thing, be a natural, natural healer, which our bodies are. So inside my free ebook here, I'm sharing seven tools, and these are different tools that have helped me as well as countless clients to overcome their anxiety. So if you're struggling with anxiety, that's an amazing place to start, okay? It's linked down below. And also, I have a couple videos related to those, those tools in that ebook. So I'm going to drop the thumbnails up here. And I will also put the links to those specific ones down below as well. And there will be more to come. So make sure you check out my other videos. You can even just search Kara Michelle Anxiety. <laughs> check those out if this is something you struggle with and you're looking for more help and more tools to break free. So please, first things first, stop identifying with your anxiety. Stop saying, I am an anxious person. I have anxiety. I have generalized anxiety disorder. All of these things are just labels. They're reaffirming your belief and your identification with something that you don't want to identify with. I used to do that too for a while. I would say, oh, I'm just an anxious person and like I have anxiety. Well, the more I told myself that story, the more I believed it. So stop telling the story. Your mind is listening to every single thought you have. So start telling better ones, okay? Um, so check out the ebook and then number two is to check out my free training down below as well and talk to me if you want to know more about my 90 day program conquer your mind because what we do in conquer your mind is really help you totally reprogram your mind for success for love for abundance for openness for showing up in the world with confidence for no longer letting these old stories, these old labels and these old emotions keep you stuck. So if you are being conditioned by the things, which most of us are, <laughs> if you haven't done this work yet, you are, chances are, you are being very conditioned by these things. Most of us still have like a seven year old running our life <laughs> because we haven't done the work on our mindset. So you're not alone if you're feeling that way. and. Quite often, most people don't even realize it, but until you do the work to really dive deep into your subconscious mind, into the patterns and into the blocks that have been created from years of thinking a certain way, acting a certain way, um, feeling a certain way, that becomes your energy, right? Like I said, you walk around and you just think, oh, I have anxiety, I'm an anxious person, and all these things could go wrong, and like, 
this month, this is going to be how my mind's going to be forever. Well, if you don't do the work on it, then yes, it will be that way forever. But if you're ready to change it, if you're ready to reprogram, if you're ready to clear out those old beliefs and install new ones, because your, your mind is just like a computer software. So you can start to install an upgrade <laughs> so that you're no longer operating on a Microsoft 98 or whatever. Like you're up to speed with where you are today and with who it is you want to be. So we need to reprogram and, and install that new software there for you. And when you have the right tools and system to do that, it's actually so easy and it actually becomes really fun. So I personally think that this work, like this has been the coolest journey I've been on the last eight years because I learned so much about myself and every single day I'm shifting. Every single day I'm catching these old things and clearing them out and breaking free from these patterns. And because I've been doing it for so long, it's become super easy. It literally is just a game of like, oh, no, not going to go there anymore. Or like, that's not true. And I'm no longer stuck in these old cycles. And again, I was probably <laughs> a crazy, crazy, super anxious person before this. So if I can do it, so can you. And I also wanted to share this quick post from one of my clients, May, who is certified in professional counseling and was going to different therapists for years because of her anxiety, which was due to some traumatic experiences growing up, some health issues, and she was not getting the right tools. She was not learning how to overcome her anxiety. And thanks to Conquer Your Mind, she finally was able to break free and get control over her anxiety and her panic attacks so that she could start to show up as her true self and not be so consumed all the time, okay? So this is totally possible. Then there's Jamie Lee who started traveling the world. He was struggling so much with anxiety and panic attacks and depersonalization. And in less than three months, he was traveling the world, uh, not the world, he was backpacking Europe by himself and just doing all these super cool things. So there are countless others who have worked with me through my 90 day program to gain total control over their mindset, over their anxiety, and to really shift out into the version of themselves that they wanna be. And that's what this is all about, okay? Because we can adjust this conditioned response. We can gain control so that you're no longer living in fight or flight all the time. And you're able to actually only just be in it when there's a real threat versus having your body be so incredibly drained and exhausted all the time because it's constantly in this state of trying to keep you alive. So make sure you check out that link down below as well to look at my free mindset training and then click the link to book a free call with me and let's chat and see if this is a good fit for you, okay? Um, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you found this helpful, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. And please feel free to share this if you know anyone else who's struggling with anxiety. And then check out some of these other videos here as well. And I'll see you on the next video.